They are here to destroy the planet. We're not giving up. Let's go. He's changing her planet. Initiating self-destruct. No. She's changing his world. Among Boove, I do not fit in. Nobody's perfect. Your mistakes are what make you human. I really had to go past the premise of this in order to be fair. Because I think the premise is so clever. Oh, really? I, I guess we feel complete opposite about that. <laughs> I really do. I really don't. Hear me out now. Okay. Hear me out. Now, in this movie, it's called Home. And what this is, is that this is a movie about a little alien named, oh, voiced by Jim Parsons. And the reason why it's called, oh, is because whenever he comes around to his fellow aliens, they say, oh, shit, here comes. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, that's his last name, yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> whenever he comes around like this, motherfucking rain, he's, too, he's just too, too, too enthusiastic, too jolly, too happy. People can't stand him. And he's part of a race of aliens that what they do is they go to a planet because they're always running because they're a bunch of cowards. And... They just colonize the people there and take over the planet, but in a nice way, in a nice way. But they don't know that sometimes they're separating families. And they separate one little girl, voiced by Rihanna, from her mother, voiced by Jennifer Lopez. And O, after being shunned from the rest of the aliens, runs across this girl and then realizes that, oh, man, this whole time, it's been kind of fucked up what we've been doing. <laughs> we thought we were doing something good. And now it's up to a little bit, little O right here. To help little Rihanna, or whatever her name is in the movie, find her mother. And also trying to save his life because, you know, he's one of those aliens that's always screwing up. And he accidentally sends an email to the aliens that they're always running from who want to destroy them and destroy every planet that they colonize. Now, Martin, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Martin? This premise. <laughs> it's, it's email. He, he, Martin. <laughs> You laugh. <laughs> Go ahead. Laugh. Sit back. I'll, I'll just, uh, you have a good time. Laugh. Get it at your system. Okay. You ready to hear my explanation here? Okay. I'll tell you why I find this pretty clever. The email, even with the email. Okay. Because this is an alien invasion movie for eight-year-olds and below. I mean, this, and not only is this an alien invasion movie, but this is also a concentration camp movie <laughs> it, for kids. Whoa. No, no, whoa, nothing. It, come it, on. It doesn't really acknowledge that so much, but yeah. It is. A concentration camp movie. Man, what these aliens do is they come down, they take all the humans, and they put them in these gated communities. Now, they're, they're nice. They're colorful. These homes, you know, they probably are. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're in the desert or in the Australian outback. But they all have, but look, they all get running water. You know, they, they, they live good lives. You know, yeah. these houses here, they'd be up in the market. They'd be, you know, good $500,000 house. And, and, then, uh, and then they take over the planet. This is almost like, it's, it's almost like the most kid-friendly Holocaust film you'll ever see. I was about to say it's like an animated boy in the striped pajamas. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, it, you look at it, it's like if the Nazis had done this to the Jews, it still wouldn't be cool. But the Nazis, they wouldn't be as big of an asshole as they were when they were doing what they were doing. <laughs> It's like, you know, they, they, they're very polite about okay. putting these people in these concentration camps right here. I like that premise. It's like it's a it's an alien takeover Holocaust movie for eight year old people. I love how you, you, you know you, what you're you, saying. You, you right like now? this movie yeah. that you have on a rare occasion accurately compared to the Nazis. Yeah. But have, no, you're right. And I think you're, I, you're I, right. I, I, I admire this for having the balls to do I that. Mean, I mean, I'd almost want to flag you for Godwin's law. But that was that was true. <laughs> it seems so bizarre. <laughs> Hey, like you know, two things that just shouldn't go together: animated no, kids movie and, and Holocaust slash no. concentration camp. But something, you know, for me, they made that work. It's not as <laughs> offensive it as it would come. Yeah, it did. It okay. did. It, it, I did find it offensive how they would just <laughs> not if they had acknowledged it. Like this is what we're doing, and we know what we're doing. It's almost like they did it by accident. You want to go, um, yeah. guys? You know what? Let me just let me just I'm gonna just open this history book to any random page and let you read this and see and see the comparison of what's going on here. Okay. So, so it's like they realized what they did afterwards was like I hope so nobody knows. I'm not sure they ever realized. No, they, oh, okay. But that's the thing about it, man. Oh, no. They just they just go into every planet and they say like, listen, you know, we have to take over the planet for our own well being, but don't worry, we got you. We're gonna put you in some nice middle class to upper class homes. You're all gonna be you know happy together. You have to you know you don't have to worry about jobs. You know, but got you. We we basically gonna put y'all in a very colorful projects. 
Okay. <laughs> Rather let you stay where you are and us move into this barren area, we're going to put you there and take over your house. Now, the fact see? that... That does not sound nice pleasant. The fact that they can do this in a kid's movie with cute little aliens, I thought, like, that's man, a that's, problem. Kind of, that's actually kind of cool to me that you, you did that, you pulled it off. It's almost propaganda. <laughs> if you're going to try to take over another culture or race, just do it politely with colorful things. Okay. That's all, and man. It's aimed at, at an audience that's too young to ask the question, what the fuck? <laughs> so, so that little Hitler that's in the audience is really going to get something out of this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. next time he'll be cool about it, okay. you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, when these kids when they finally get up to World War Two yeah. and their and their world history class, they're gonna Wait be like, I don't. Yeah, this sounds familiar. I don't see what the big deal. Yeah, they'll be like, Hey man, uh, O did it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody was cool with him. No, everybody hated him actually, and we hate you too. But you know something? As much as I'm impressed by this premise, hey, look. But beyond that, it's not much to it. After that, is nothing but it's nothing but a a, a sidekick point A to point B movie. Yep. Road yeah. trip. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just going from one place to another. And you know something? That's the thing about this is that this is a uh, it's a studio animated film. It's what you expect from DreamWorks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, it's like a lesser DreamWorks movie. It, you know, Dream, yeah. DreamWorks has some movies that they actually care about. They, like, they're writing funny stuff for them. Yeah. And some, like, I, like, not the way it looks. Because pretty much most of the DreamWorks movies look look good, and this is probably on the this is on the upper scale of how it looks. I do like the design in this. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the design of the aliens and the way they change color, and also you know what they had a design where they they were looking the same all the time. Mega Mind aliens yeah. versus monsters, but here they because they know they have a younger crowd, they've also softened the designs, and that made them a little more distinct. Yeah, no, no, the this. way they the way they look are are on the upper <laughs> level, but the writing is in the. In, it's it's more close to the bottom. Yeah, because the people look like the people from the Crudes almost. You know what? It's that kind of style yeah. right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Crudes being a a more inspired film. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, this this right here, man. They, it, it is truly for. I mean, it's a few giggles here and there, but it's truly for. It's truly for kids, man. Yeah. Now I will say that one of the things that I was impressed with, I was watching a movie the whole time. And I did not know it was Rihanna. And I thought Rihanna was trying to stay away from these uh, alien invasion movies after Battleship. That did nothing for her. <laughs> and I guess, you know, and, and well, listen, I'm yeah, a, you can't see her this time. You can, and you yeah. know what? I I said to myself, I said, you, I, I'm uttering the words I thought I'd never hear myself say. When it comes to, to, a, to a movie, I think I'd rather hear Rihanna instead of see her. Because when she's acting, it ain't that good. At least when she's trying to act in person. But you know, at the same time, I know, Jesus, oh, you sure you don't want to see? Her? I know I have to put that up to remind myself. <laughs> it's like you know, I was talking. I was like, my hand was just moving over cord. Do you really know what you're saying right now? <laughs> Think carefully. For those who are listening, I'm looking at a picture of her ass right here, yeah. and I'm like, all right, let me let me let me let me change yeah, that around. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather when she's acting, listen to her, and then actually see her. And it might just be because of the movie. Because you know, when I'm looking at this, I didn't know it was her, and I actually thought it was a real little girl. And I, I don't think her voice work was bad at all. Ah! 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 Gotcha! Ooh. What for are you did this? I am Boov. I know what you want. Can I come into the out now? No, you cannot come into the out now. But I can. You are just having to take away the piece of wood. We did, I will shoot forth the lasers from my eyeballs. You can do that? Yes. Bitch, you can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute voice. Look, the, the only, my biggest complaint about this is that She's playing a little girl right here, and this makes me feel really creepy because I'm looking at this little girl, and I can't look at this little girl without thinking about that adult ass right there. You know, I don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to have a plan on little girls. It gives you really weird, icky feelings. Uh, uh, Rihanna, R R R R she does a decent job, better than I would have expected, and I didn't have a problem with her being in it. Oh, wait. I wouldn't have had a problem being in it, her being in it, except clearly it was part of the contract that they also pump her on the soundtrack oh yeah because uh. like you know when somebody's starring in a movie and then their music is playing almost over the character talking you're like god damn marketing yeah that's uh, all oh, this oh, yeah. is yeah there's 
There's a part where she's actually talking, and you her voice is singing yes. over her. Ooh, I want. Oh, hey, daddy. Ooh, I want. Hey, will you she tell us something? Will you shut up? Will somebody tell that bitch shut up. Ooh, like that's you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, and you're right, man. Again, lending itself to what it is. It's a studio film. Yeah. It is a straight up studio animated film. They strategically place the music in there to sell the song, uh-huh. while they're also trying to sell the celebrity behind the voice who's singing the song. Yeah. Uh, the, st- talking about voices, they have celebrity voices in there for marquee uh, appeal. Yeah. And the story is really simple, man. It's a very, very simple story. And it's not just simple, it is cheaply emotionally manipulative. Damn, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I wouldn't expect it, it really, I mean, it really is. It's like, it ain't enough to play out like it does. They have moments where they go, like, all right, this is where we got to. We got to try to make everybody cry or feel sad. <coughs> I was like, man, y'all are landing on thick right now. Wow, out of Martin. nowhere. Damn, Martin, I didn't know you felt like that. Shit, Martin, Martin don't like to be manipulated. <laughs> <laughs> man, you normally don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I, I don't, man. I don't. But it didn't bother me. It didn't bother me that much. You know, I, it's, uh, there's a... There's certain things in in these type of movies that, like I just listed to you, that I don't like. I mean, this is this is a this is a this is a formula. This is a formula for, uh, you know, a middle of the road DreamWorks animated film. And this is this is what they do when they don't really don't when they seem like they don't give a shit, which yeah. is too bad because I really like the designs in this. Yeah, but uh, it's all about selling the soundtrack and selling toys of these cute little creatures. And even the voices, I didn't I didn't mind that much. Uh, Jennifer Lopez plays the mother. I thought, well, she's kind of a waste. Yeah. You know, they have voices in here. Jim Parsons is good, but Jennifer Lopez, you have her in there strictly just to say just to have her. Jennifer Lopez. Mm-hmm. And she got paid for just saying about two or three lines. Two or three lines. I'm yeah. serious about that. Two or three lines. And I don't like this shit with y'all casting certain people's cartoon characters anyway. This chick just made a song called Booty. And you gonna sit up here and try to make me buy her as a fucking cartoon character. Oh, I ain't buying that shit. Fuck you. A cartoon mom. Oh, cartoon, a cartoon mom. Slightest cartoon mom you could have out there. But I appreciate that. It gave you an excuse to play that clip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Right, sure. Man, I was looking for an excuse. <laughs> yeah. There's one good thing to this movie. I got to look up this clip and use it right now. Let's relish in this for a moment. <laughs> they even tried to give her ass like Jennifer Lopez. Oh, really? You know? yeah. yeah, the cartoon character. Just looked like a person in mom jeans, but you knew if she was wearing the right you know, ass yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, she was a male. I'll tell you something. For me, I'm not that offended because this is a movie for like I said, for eight-year-olds, the biggest for me, the biggest problem with this movie are the not even the, not not for me. Let me rephrase that. The biggest thing that the people gonna see a crime with this movie is that it's too cute. Is that it aims so small? It's something that the kids can't, you know, the parents can't go with the kids and probably enjoy it on the same level. That's the biggest thing that this movie's probably doing wrong. And I say, you know something, but be a good parent. Shut the fuck up and just take your kids to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, kids like okay. to go to the movies. That's a, that's a common complaint. Well, there's nothing there for the adults to say. Who's here the fuck? Let, you know, kids like to go to the movies too. Yeah. Take your kid out to the fucking Plenty film. Plenty of movies, uh, you know, marketed towards adults that have shit to do with kids. So yeah, everything. Why can't they have something that's just them? Exactly. Yeah. You know. Suck I, that shit up. Everything. Exactly. Be a fucking dad. You know, be a, mom. <laughs> Get a fucking movie. Maybe. Stop being a horrible parent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and I tell you, man, the... I, it ain't SpongeBob, no. It ain't. It, it, it's not clever like some of the Disney films we've been seeing coming out today. But it knows its audience, and there's nothing wrong with that. At the same time, this shit is so plain. I was like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, if you have the time, yes, take your kid to go see it. Take him to a matinee to see it. But and I'm judging it as family time. And I wish I could really push it more as a family time movie. But as far as uh, a movie standing on its own. Other than the technical stuff to where it looks great, and I really do think it looks great, I can't recommend anything above a rental. And the other reason why, and I was almost there. I was almost there with a, with a very low matinee. But can you, Martin, can you guess what they did that made me mad? I don't know. They did a number of things for me. Can I okay, guess? Oh, take a guess. Did they do that whole, you know, singing, dancing thing? Yes! Yeah. Yes! Okay. You fucking animators, man. I know it's you. You love animating characters dancing because that's what they did here. Yeah. I was just about to, I, you know, oh. if I had actually walked out the Please movie. Please tell me they didn't do that hip-hop shit, though. Oh, I won't say anything. <laughs> I, won't, I won't tell you, Tommy. I'll let Boo tell you. Oh, 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 o
I ain't saying shit to her. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, I let the movie tell you. No, it has man. Wow. nothing to do with the rest of the story. And it has, at the end of the movie, if I had just left and never came back, I would have gave this movie a better rating. But because these animators can't stop, and, it, it, and it's almost like DreamWorks has a requirement now that they have to end the movie yep. before the credits roll, all while the credits like roll. Like Hollywood. Like, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that every character has to fucking dance now. Yeah. I'm just like, man, fuck you for that. You know, come on, man, just once. Yeah. Just stop. That uh, lumps all these movies together when they do that. Stop. That despicable me shit. Oh, yeah. No, that, now, oh, me gets, oh, no, oh, wait, wait, wait. That, does that get a pass all of a sudden? Yeah, that does. It's not so bad, man. Yes, that, that shit don't even get a pass. It, get, it gets a pass. Mm. Not with mm. me. Why, well, you, ain't, like, you didn't see this shit. Nobody's asking you. That's all despicable me. Well, you didn't see this, so you had nothing to compare it to. I don't give a rat's ass. Anytime you, you have animated characters I don't, dancing. You are not agreeing with me. I don't want to hear with you. <laughs> you didn't, because if you had seen despicable me, you would have said, you know what, they get a pass because they're a lot cuter than this right here. <laughs> so, you know, if you pass the cute test, you get to dance. Oh. Not these motherfuckers right here, no. Rip off minions. Yeah. Right, go ahead, money. Well, you can't rip off of them from the same company. <laughs> yes, you can. No, they can't. No, they can't. <laughs> you can just re or you, okay regurgitate it minions. No. How about man, that? If that's the case, then you gotta talk about Shrek, and you like Shrek, and D Shrek was dancing before that. That was okay. I'm not yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, don't act like you ain't. You had nothing to say. Go ahead though. Uh, I didn't like it as much as you. <laughs> well, that's apparent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's. It, it, to me, it's like, why skew, skew your movie only for eight years old and below when you have that whole range of below eight to much higher that even so, something adults can kind of appreciate or even teenagers? This is like, man, you got to have just the littlest of kids who can't analyze anything they see. But beyond that, like, like I said, four or the, five. Yeah. Okay. But you know the, the the cheap marketing ploys, the cheap you know just trying to trying to get you sad over shit that they they wrap up like that. It's almost like they went like. Yeah, it's just kind of flat. Let's throw something in here at the last minute to just kind of, kind of get get people. And it's yeah. like, don't even. And even they don't commit to it. It's like it's it's over with that fast. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just it's cotton candy. It's a completely colorful but ultimately <laughs> empty you experience. That. Literally looks like cotton candy. Yeah, it looks like cotton candy, and it feels like that. It's like hey, it might have been sweet when you were eating it, but when it's done, you're like. I'm still hungry and a little bit nauseous. You know what? I tell you, one of the voices I did like was Steve Martin. Steve Martin was. Oh, uh, I did. Okay, oh, all right, God. Man, he was because he was just so overdoing it. Yeah, he plays the leader of these these aliens right here, and you know. Okay. I only give it to Jim Parsons, in as much as they got his ass working hard through this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rihanna, you know, she's doing a standard job, but Jim Parsons is having, just having to put it all out there. Yeah. He's having to carry this whole fucking thing, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I give you that. He is. He is, and he has to talk in that broken English and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, having to yeah. having to work that out. Uh, probably only for him. That's the only reason. I'll go ahead and give it just a rental and to be nice because, yeah, you know. <laughs> you but, know what, but really, I mean, it's a, it's a movie you rent. And I guess I look at How to Train Your Dragon right there. So that's that's one of the top films. And yeah. We're dancing with that, right? Right. No. Yeah, yeah. So. I saw How to Train Dragon 2 on Netflix the other day. and She was good. Yeah. No, was yeah. Really good. But, well, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why you have to look at this movie and put it lower because yeah. you know that. You see what they're capable of. You, you know what they're capable of. The Croods, How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your, how to train your Dragon 2. I keep wanting to say How to Train Your Dragon. Man. <laughs> I know. I'm going to make that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sign that you need to make. Some guy just jacking off a big dragon. <laughs> 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 But uh, yeah, man, Martin, you say that that this serves no purpose. Let's go back to the beginning. How about if parents take their kids to see this film right here, and this is a very childlike way to teach them about the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> you know? hey, you, you, now the aliens, you see, you see, you see, ooh, right here. He's what we call a Nazi. <laughs> this little black girl here, she's a Jew, <laughs> and uh, so the, and they came and took over the planet. Oh, okay. Our, well, well, our it, Germany. So, Dad, does it work out? For the Jews, the way it did for the humans too. Well, that's le that lesson is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> one day at a time. <laughs> yeah, one day at a time. And I just enjoy the movie right now. <laughs> Shut your ears. Yeah. Okay, people.